Now, for those of you wishing to make a real estate investment in the US, I'm today going to give you 10 reasons why I think Atlanta, Georgia may well be a good place to put your money. So let's get straight down to it. Here are 10 reasons why I think Atlanta, Georgia may well be a good place to put your money in the real estate market. Now, number one, Atlanta actually has the busiest airport in the world. And in 2019, 110 and a half million passengers actually used this airport, which was a year on year increase of nearly 3%. And it's actually higher than um, Beijing International Airport with 100 million, LA International Airport with 88 million, Heathrow, 80 million, Charles de Gaulle in uh, Paris, 76 million. And for those of you that think, oh, it's just because it's uh, a very, very domestic orientated airport with a lot of traffic, that's actually not the case because it does actually fly to at 75, over 75 international destinations. Number two, I want to talk about Fortune 500 companies. Now, of the Fortune 500 companies, 16 actually have their headquarters in the Metro Atlanta area, including the following, Home Depot, UPS, Delta Airlines, and Coca-Cola. And nine out of 10 Fortune 500 companies actually have operations in Georgia. Number three, very important, I want to talk about the future job growth prospects in Atlanta. And these are excellent. According to the Atlanta Regional Commission, it projects that 1.2 million jobs will be added by the year 2050. And very importantly, too, in diverse sectors of the economy, such as healthcare, science and technology and construction. Number four, very important for the future real estate market is population growth. Now in 2010, Atlanta actually had 5.3 million people. By 2019, this had grown to just over 6 million. But by 2050, it is expected to grow to 8.6 million. And this is great for the housing market. Number five, I want to talk about the youngish population. So the median age is just under 37. And very importantly too, over 40% of the population are in the age bracket of 20 to 49. This is less than the national average in the US and is very important if you're looking for a, a property to rent because a lot of these people in this age group rent, in particular 20 to 30 year olds. Number six, I want to talk about the growing number of visitors to Atlanta. Now in 2010, Atlanta had 35 million visitors but by 2018, this had grown to over 50 million. And indeed, in the um, state of Georgia, it was 112 million visitors. This is good, I think, for hotels and the Airbnb market. Number seven, let's come to the most important bit, the real estate prices. Now, the average home in Atlanta will cost you $310,000, which is much, much less than New York at $656,000 LA at $840,000 and San Francisco at a whopping $1.4 million. Now you may say to me, this is because uh, of salary differences, but let's just compare Atlanta to LA. Now in Atlanta, the average take home pay per month is $4,800 net. Uh, in LA, it's actually $4,500 a month net. So LA, the take-home payment take home pays actually less than Atlanta, but property prices are a lot more expensive. And even if we take San Francisco, uh, the take-home pay yes, is much higher than Atlanta. So we're talking about seven thousand eight hundred dollars compared to four thousand eight hundred dollars. But look at the property price again, three hundred and ten thousand dollars compared to one point four million dollars. So San Francisco, the salaries are less than twice uh, as much as Atlanta but the average property price is nearly five times as much. And consider this as well, people are leaving LA and San Francisco, but people are, are actually moving into Atlanta. So I, from this, we can deduce that the real estate market in Atlanta has much better future prospects than LA or San Francisco. Number eight, I wanna talk about the rental market. Now, there are good potential rental years uh, wherever you buy um, in Atlanta, simply because in the um, metro area of Atlanta, 50% of the population rents 
rather than buys. So sh wherever, again, I'll repeat, wherever you buy uh, in Atlanta, you should be able to uh, rent it out reasonably straightforward in a very easily and get good rental yields as well. Number nine, I want to talk about the reasonable property um, taxes. So on average, you should pay just under 1% uh, annual property tax, which is actually uh, slightly below the national average in the US. Now, number 10, uh, I've given you nine good reasons, but if you don't want to take my word for it, uh, look at various articles that have been written. So if you look at a Business Insider article from 2020, uh, they actually said that Atlanta is the best city to buy for rental properties. And Forbes described Atlanta as the third best city in the US for young entrepreneurs and the ninth best city for business and careers. Now, I've given you 10 um, advantages. Just want to give you a couple of potential disadvantages. Now, uh, Georgia does have state income tax of 5.5%, whereas other states such as Florida, Texas, Nevada actually have 0%. Mind you, it's a lot less than California at 13.3%. And a lot of people will argue that prices actually in Atlanta have gone up anyway since 2012. So you're not buying at the bottom end of the market. Uh, that said, uh, although this is true, uh, I just want to say that uh, prices in Atlanta uh, are, are only uh, higher on a nominal basis compared to the 2006 peak. In real terms, they're actually lower. And when you put this in conjunction with uh, wages, which has, have risen quite well over the last 15 to 20 years, and the population growth, I still think there's a lot in this market. Now, briefly, uh, you may ask me, where should you buy? I think anywhere you do buy in Atlanta, you should do well. But if you can, uh, I would buy either in the downtown Atlanta or midtown or close to the, um, to the belt line, if you can, if you do have the budget to do that. Um, if you're going to do an Airbnb, uh, again, I would go for downtown or near the airport where people do come, stay, pilots, etc. may want to um, rent your Airbnb for a day or two. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts. Have you considered investing Atlanta, Georgia? Is it one of the better places to invest in the US? Comments are always appreciated. Anyway, if this video has been useful for you, please do like the video. If you like my channel, please do subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Have a great day and bye for now.